we're going to show you how to mount the front end for the new 2015 um, F-150 truck. This truck is not an eco boost here. The plastic is filled in. In order to get this bumper off, though, this plastic has got to come off here because that's where the bumper bolts are to remove this chrome bumper. Um, if you're not worried about it, you can jerk it off real fast. But it, this one, we're going to have to be careful because we're going to send this truck back with the plastic back on there. We start with the screwdriver in there to start peeling that out. Once you get it peeled out, there's some little plastic clips in there that hold that thing into the chrome bumper. Just like I said, we've got to be careful with this one because we're going to send it back. You don't have to, you're not worried about it, okay? You're hoping that there's some little metal clips on the plastic if you ever have to reinstall that stay on there. If not, they stay in the bumper. There's some little bitty, tiny, um, little oh, little catches in there that you're going to have to straighten back out and put back on the plastic on there to, um, to reinstall that thing. It'll just go back in there, but you need that little, you can see some of them stayed in the bumper. Those will have to be taken and the little prongs straightened back inside so they can go back on there if you ever want to put it on. But if you're doing a front end, odds are you're not worried about it anyhow. Um, in here, there is, the bolts are inside here to put this bumper on. You've got one up here, one down here, and then one of them, you got two of them here from the side that you got to do from the, or in the front here that you got to do from the front. One of them's going to be from the back side that's on the side over there that you got to take, take loose. But we're going to show you how to um, do the brackets up here. There is, when you take the bumper off, there is some little plastic clips on a little piece of plastic up in here where you see my fingers running. You'll, you'll see that. There's one right in the center and one on the side, okay? And those bolts need to be re um, removed, and remember you've got fog lights on this one, so you need to unplug the fog lights on here. Um, and then we're gonna do that, and we're gonna show you how to put the brackets on. We've got the factory bumper off the truck now. Um, it's a lot easier to put the lights in before you put the front end on. So right here you can see there's some little eyes. This light's in the housing right there. You can take a little screwdriver, you can pry that out right there, okay? I'm not gonna take this one completely out, but first before you do that, you need to take this little adjuster screw out, okay? Once you take the adjuster screw out, take it out completely. Keep the spring, it's all gotta go back in the factory one. Once you get that adjuster screw out, that's when you gotta pry these out just a little bit. There's just little round dowels that go inside. There's one on each side right there. And we're gonna show you how to put that in the um, front end replacement here in a second. Some trucks have a adaptive cruise box on the driver's side, it's gonna be mounted in that little spot right there where you took this plastic out earlier, or just a minute ago. It's gonna be mounted right here. You're gonna take that adaptive cruise box off and um, you're gonna reinstall it into the front end and we're gonna show you where that mounts. I do believe, if I remember right, you do have to take it out of the factory housing to get it out of there to get the factory bracket off that that adaptive cruise box mounts to. You gotta take the cruise, the adaptive cruise box off the uh, mounting bracket, then you can take the mounting bracket, reinstall it in there, and you can see these two little holes right here is where it's gonna mount at the top, and then there's gonna be another hole down here on the front end that it's gonna mount to too. There's two quarter inch bolts up here, two, and one quarter inch bolt down here that's provided that you're gonna mount it, used to mount that cruise, the adaptive cruise box. If you have adaptive cruise, and only if, if you don't have it, you don't worry about this, but if you have it, you're going to have to take and cut this little plate out right here out of this square. We tried to make it to where you didn't have very much to cut at all. It's just um, four little spots where you have to cut. If the adaptive cruise box um, hits steel, it's not going to work. So you got to take this out and it allows it to shoot through that front end. But only if you got the adaptive cruise box. If you if you do not have it, you do not want to take that out. Okay, it'll be a big hole there then. Um, this little tab here is where your upper mounting bracket is going to go to. We're going to show you that here in a little bit. And this is where your bottom mounting bracket is going to mount to. And we're going to show you that here in a little bit too. So this is right here. You can see the the fog light bracket without the light in it. And over here we've mounted the other side on. So you can see, these are the little plastic dowels right there. I was telling you, you got to get out of that other one. And this is your adjuster screw that you're going to reuse. You need to put your spring back in there. 
your um, bolt that or your screw back in there and we supply this little washer right here so you'll have to put that in there that way your screw don't go through the hole in the bracket there but um, but that's how your lights attached right there okay but it's a lot easier if you do it put the lights in before you um, put the front end on so you don't have to get up underneath there to do that now we're going to go over here to the truck and I'm going to show you what it looks like once you've taken the bumper off this is the top two bolts here that you took apart and this bolt hole here is the one that the bumper actually has the bolt still in it and the nuts on the back side these are the two you had to take that plastic off of to get to the nuts and also if you've got the adaptive crews you need to get to that too but um, anyhow but this the tow hook we kind of loosened the tow hook already we jumped the gun a little bit so we didn't bore you with all the little dumb details this little plastic thing is going to come off okay you will not reinstall this thing okay um, you're going to take that off, th throw it away, and you, we got, like I said, we got this one loose right here. Um, but you're going to go ahead and remove. You can remove that tow hook on the on this thing, and um, you will reuse your tow hooks though. On the other side, we've got the mounting brackets put on. You can see this bracket here is your bottom bracket that goes um, to the the two hold shoe that we call a shoe on the front end that we talked about and we reinstalled the tow hook to the bottom of the bracket okay inside the frame you can use the factory bolts if you have tow hooks if you do not have tow hooks you're just gonna have holes in the frame so that little strip right there with the nuts on it will not be there so you're gonna have to we which we supply these two little flat plates with the nut welded onto there and I believe it's going to be half by two and a half inch bolts in the kit too that we supply and you're going to use those instead because if you don't have tow hooks you won't have the bolts or anything for there to mount your bottom bracket but we do supply the bolts and all that if you don't have tow hooks so that's how you put that bracket on there the tab I was talking about on the front end that's what this is going to go to we kind of put this on there loosely it's probably easier if you do that that way when you got the front end on there you just get underneath the front end and you just lift that up the tab on the front end is going to go on top of this bracket. We're trying to show it to you like this because it's hard to get underneath the front end and visually um, be able to, with the camera to show you everything. So anyhow, just let that bracket hang lo loose um, down there. You're going to mount these first. Last thing you'll do then is just lift that up. You know, if you got to lift it up like that, just you want to put it up to the bottom of the bracket. You're going to get another half by one and three quarter bolt right here. We supply this bolt, so you're going to have one, two, three, four of those half by one and three quarters, and I guess um, two, four, just in case you don't have tow hooks, um, half by two and a halves, and then four plates right there. And that's how we're gonna attach that front end. Um, again, the, the adaptive cruise, you're gonna have another wiring over there for the adaptive cruise. It's on the driver's side. It's on the driver's side. Make sure you don't do it on the passenger side. You don't got a mounting bracket mounted on the passenger side, but don't cut out the wrong one. Um, but you'll have a wire harness that'll be hanging there with the lights and all that. You can reconnect it. And we're going to get some people to help us put the um, front end up there. And we're going to mount it to these brackets. We'll put the other bracket on. As you can see, we won't bore you with um, you having to watch us do that. And we're going to get the uh, front end hung by these bolts on each side. And then we'll show you how to do the alignment and the rest of the hanging. Okay, we have bolted it up. We've tightened everything also. Um, we've showed you which brackets everything goes to, uh, what bracket goes to on the front end. Um, we have put the lights, we plugged the lights in, all that'll work. I do want to show you again, now that it's up on the truck, again, on the driver's side, if you've got that adaptive cruise box, you're gonna have to have it mounted in behind there. And this is the side where you gotta cut out that little black plastic piece on there on the front end. The other side, do not mess with, just leave it on there. You're gonna have a black box on the corner here um, to kind of what somewhat stabilize each side looking the same. Um, on the front end itself, there's some little plastic rubber pieces right here. You want that deck plate just to barely come up to it and touch it. You don't want to smash it. Um, you even maybe leave a sixteenth or whatever if you want to. You don't want it to smash in there. There is some little vents in here. I think this one's a false vent. The other side, there's a little vent right there that's for airflow. So you don't want to smash those things and raise it too high. You want to just come up to the bottom of these things. Um, you also do, do want to stand back and look. So what I usually do is 
get the center of this grill bar lined up with your rear view mirror back up and then get down and eyeball and make sure these loop the tops of what we call the loops here line up with your fender well right there. You also do want to take a tape measure on each side and you want to measure and make sure you got the front end the same distance from side to side. Um, in this video we will show a little um, picture that they will put in there of that adaptive box, the cruise box um, mounted. This truck does not have it so we can't show it to you right now but we will have a picture of one in this video that does. It'll be a raw piece, but you got, you'll got you have the idea of how it's gonna look. Um, license plate's gonna go in the middle there. You got these little vents here that are for the EcoBoost. This one's not an EcoBoost, so you got a little extra airflow. But that is the install of your front end. Just make sure that all bolts are tight and periodically, especially as new, maybe a month or two down the road, you may, may need to go back underneath and just check and retighten all bolts just to make sure everything is good. But after that, you are ready to go on the road. That's your install.